Welcome back, fellow collectors. Uh, boy, finding really, really exceptional United States rare coins is just so much fun. I've got four selections here in this email blast, uh, the, these specials that are just incredible. Uh, the very, very first coin is, of course, uh, is the king of the series, the 1953 S Franklin Half Dollar and MS 65 Full Bell Lines Condition. And, uh, excuse me, PCGS is only graded, let's see, 22 examples in 6.5 FBL. Now, that number has barely moved in the last five years. I think five years ago, the number might have been 19 or 20, folks. Uh, they're just not out there. The great news about this coin is that when I bought it, the price guide value for a 53S and 6.5 FBL was, I believe, 18500 Now, I paid just about 20000 for it, just, close, just under 20000 for the coin. So I paid over price guide money for the coin because I just, to get a nice 53S, is, it's worth every penny. Since that time, the, uh, there were a couple sales and the 53S in 6.5 FBL price guide has gone from $18,500 to $31,000. And the great news for you is that I got it at this at that lower level, and I'm passing this opportunity on to you. This coin is a beautiful, beautiful specimen. It looks like it was in an album with some uh, antique gold color. Great bell lines. It's really solid 6.5 surfaces. So if you're looking for a 1953S graded by PCGS in 6.5 FBL, at a great price to, to fill that set, this key date. I've got a special on this. I got uh, some very good fortune, and it was, it was good timing. Again, the, the price guide value went from eighteen five to 31000 and uh, I've got it well, well below that 31000 price guide number because, again, my cost, my cost was, was, was much lower. So I took advantage of it and um, passing it on to you. So if you're looking for a great 53S, this is the perfect time to acquire that key date. The second coin I have, what is the second coin we have over here? Oh, that is the 1951, graded by PCGS Franklin, 6-7 Cameo. There are no 6-8 Cameos. This is another Everest coin. The second, uh, these are all Everest coins today. This coin is borders on deep Cameo. It's really, really deep. High-end surfaces, beautiful, evenly frosted cameo contrast, obverse and uh, reverse. There are only, um, I believe, 29 examples graded in 6-7 cameo. Yes, 29 examples, folks. And again, most of them are not as deep in cameo as this specimen. This is one of the tough dates. Uh, the rarest date, of course, is, is the 1950. And the, the 51 is a close second. It's a really, really tough date. Have it at a great great price. It's just beautiful, the deep, deep mirrored surfaces, really matching heavy cameo contrast, obverse and reverse. It is a superb, superb specimen. And now the third Franklin, and the last one in this, in this special, is the 1954 highest grade deep cameo by PCGS Proof 68 Deep Cameo. In fact, the very first Proof 68 Deep Cameo PCGS graded was this coin. This is a coin I submitted to them when they started offering the Cameo and Deep Cameo designation back in the early 90s. Um, I had this 54 put aside and I submitted it to them and, and they graded it Proof 68 Deep Cameo. The coin is, in my opinion, um, if it's not the top die, it's one of the two top dies. It's one of the top, top deep Cameo 54s you can own. This is as nice as they get. I, I believe the coin is undergraded. Okay, I think that uh, there will be a future time when the coin will grade higher than Proof 68. It's, to my eye, it's flawless black mirrors, just black mirrors, frosted snow white uh, obverse and reverse matching Cameo contrast, some beautiful, beautiful... Uh, burgundy around the periphery on the obverse and reverse. It is just as nice as they come for this tough, tough date. You'll be amazed by this coin because it's not just the frosted white cameo devices. It's the fields that are so jet black that really set this coin off. I mean, those deep, deep mirrored fields, 
again, a, a, an indicator that this was among the first strikes off of one of the top cameo dies. It is a top cameo die I had pictured in my, my first book. Uh, in fact, this was the plate coin uh, that I used in the book. And uh, it is, uh, if you're building a top cameo Franklin set, this 54 is really a, 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 a must-buy opportunity. It's absolutely irreplaceable. And then the last coin. <coughs> I bet you didn't think I'd have one of these. It's a gorgeous large scent. I, I love all United States rare coins. And when I can find something that I think is a true, true collector buying opportunity, I just jump all over it. Here you have the 1855 large scent. Graded MS66 Brown. Now the thing is, when it comes to <coughs> the brown, the BN designation, red brown, red RD designation, my only complaint with that BN and RB designation is that it really doesn't take into account that you can get some of these uh, scents, large scents and small scents, that when they do tone, they don't always don't always turn brown. A lot of times they'll turn some beautiful shades of, uh, uh, of blue, um, some, some burgundy, just some wild, wild colors. And yet they get the same BN brown designation. This large scent is one of those examples. It has this beautiful, beautiful deep blue, obverse and reverse. It's not a chocolate brown coin. It's a beautiful deep blue. You could see some original, original copper around the stars, etc. The coin is absolutely flawless to the eye. This is the highest grade, the only example graded MS66 brown of this rare variety, the up, up, upright 19, 1855, the N7 variety, folks. This is the only example. There are no MS66 red browns or reds. This is the only 6.6 brown example it is it is a magnificent magnificent large scent it really is a put away coin uh the think that this coin is over 150 years old and it's preserved in this spectacular condition i i think the coin is just an absolute steal at the price we have it for you today thanks for watching the this uh, brief group here on these select picks these are my favorites i love all four of these coins again 53S, I'm always looking for 53Ss with full bell lines. I have never personally found one uh, myself in 6.5 FBL and then doing this for 35 plus years. I've never personally found a 53S in 6.5 FBL, folks. That's how rare they are. I acquired this piece and I acquired it at a great price because I acquired it when the price guide was around $18,500, $19,000. I paid close to twenty for it. I paid over price guide money. I have it at basically about... 15% above my cost. So uh, the current price guide is $31,000. You'll be getting it well below per current price guide because, again, it's based on my cost. That second coin, the 1951, it's as nice as they get in 6.7 Cameo for, an, uh, for a Franklin. There are no 6.8 Cameos. This coin borders on deep Cameo. It's magnificent. The 54, it's the nicest Proof 68 deep Cameo PCGS 54 you'll ever see. It's the first one they ever certified. I submitted it myself back in the early 90s. It is the king of the hill. And then lastly, that gorgeous, gorgeous 1855 large scent MS66 brown, but it's again, it's not brown. It is this beautiful, beautiful deep blue obverse and reverse. Uh, just magnificent quartet here for you. I hope you're able to pick up at least one for your collection. Thanks for watching. Thank you.